It did. Now, I was watching you throughout the night, and it kind of, it, more towards the beginning of the race, you could enter really, really good in on the cushion, but then you kind of started to almost slow down and had to enter in straight. I saw that the cushion got bigger. How did your car change from the beginning of the night to the end of the night? Well, actually, I was driving up above it early on, like you said, in the race. Um, it was getting around pretty good, but um, this probably like 10, 11 laps ago. I'm not sure. I broke the Jacob's ladder off, which holds the right oh, side okay. of the car up, the bottom of it. And so it, it got pretty brutal, and the, the cushion is, I wish some of the people would drive around the racetrack after the races. It's hard to see from the grass sense but sometimes that thing gets like that big like a huge curve and, and it was getting that way in a couple spots and uh, um, with, the, with the jiggers that are broken it got real violent so I was better I just tried to slow down roll through it and then and make sure I came off the corners as strong as I could and uh, actually I caught up to that lap car at the end and I really was trying not to pass it. I'm here with Danny Lasowski at Volusia Speedway Park. Danny, how's your season been going so far this year? So far, we've had a, a real tough year down here so far at the Florida Speed Week. So, you know, usually we come down here, we run pretty strong, but for whatever reason, we just haven't hit on yet, but we're not giving up. That's good, that's good. Now, do you are you in this ride full-time this year, or what are your plans for the rest of the season? Well, I think they have uh, 25 to 30 races scheduled, then I'll be in my own 33 car, as well as Mark Burgess 360. Uh, with all that comes out with no rainouts, we'll be running about 103 races. Sounds good. Now, are you going to be doing a lot of the World of Outlaw races or? Yeah, so we, on our schedule, I think there's about 48 of them we get to do. So I'm excited about that. You know, we want to be back on it full time, but as you well know how everything's going, uh, we oh, got to yeah. keep looking. Now, I watched you during hot laps and you were extremely well and you did well qualifying, and then you kind of looked like you were learning a lot once you got into traffic. How was that an adjustment for you? Yeah, it's a, it's an incredible adjustment. Just you earn a whole new respect for all these guys, how they deal with the dirty air and traffic and everything. And, you know, I can go out there by myself and turn some pretty good laps, but when I get in the race, that's when the that's when the whole learning process comes in. So um, every night it just I get more and more comfortable and um, it just gets better and better. But uh, yeah, I mean it's quite an adjustment. Mm -hmm. Now, what have you found the difference, you know, from racing from you know Goodyear's what they ran last year to Hoosiers this year? Uh, it's just I seem a lot tighter. I feel like the, with the narrow tire, we're just kind of stuck on the right, right rear a lot more than we were before. And uh, you know, we're just trying to find a balance that we need on the race car. And, uh, you know, it's only been two nights with the new tires, so uh, you know we're getting better, but we haven't got to where we want to be yet. Now, how long has it been since you ran on Hoosiers? Uh, last time they outlawed. Well, no, I take that back. I ran a, when I ran the three ASTS okay, stuff yep. last year. Uh, we ran on the Hoosier tire. Same, same narrow tire, but a lot harder. Okay. Well, good luck the rest of the weekend, Paul, and good luck with your new ride. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Casey Kane's newest driver, Darren Pittman. Well, you've had an incredible start to the season. You won the first World of Outlaw race, and you ran a close second last night. Seems like things are clicking well with you guys. Yeah, no, just uh, couldn't ask for a better start. Uh, even last week at Ocala was great. Just the uh, car's been good every time we unload, and I'm uh, just going out and enjoying it. And, and uh, uh, it's a lot of fun when you get in a car that's that fast and um, every time we hit the track. So uh, uh, to win, you know, the first night out was great, and uh, I had a good shot out last night too. So we'll see, we got here the third night. Uh, it'd be great if we could try to get another win, but uh, you know, another top five, and uh, just uh, it's great momentum builder for the whole team, as new as we all are together, and uh, just try to see how long we can keep running this well. Now you're working with new crew chief Kale Kane and a couple new crew guys. Seems obviously everything seems to be working good together. Yeah, it's been fantastic. You know, I mean, just uh, you know, everybody's attitudes have been great. And you know, I think we've all got something to prove. We want to go out and, and uh, run well and win races, and, and so far, uh, you know, that was our goals, and, and we've been been right there. So, uh, just uh, hopefully, we can keep it up the rest of the year. Now, last night, I heard the white flag wasn't waved. Did you think you won the feature last night? No, I knew I didn't win. <laughs> uh, I saw the checkered for sure. Uh, just uh, if I saw the white, you know, I think we would at least been able to try to to, to pull a slider on Terry. I don't know if we could have done it or not, but. Uh, uh, shouldn't have waited, you know, it's my own fault, just shouldn't have hesitated uh, when I had a shot at it and uh, thought we had a few more laps, but uh, all in all, from 11th to 2nd, great run, and the uh, car was really good. I know we definitely had probably the best car the last five laps, and uh, just came one spot short. Well, good luck the rest of the weekend, and we'll see you in Vegas. All right, sounds good. Thanks. Thanks.